Welcome to another edition of Cowboys Imperial Post Game Show brought to you by Genco Olive Oil Company. When you want olive oil that you can't refuse, make it Genco Olive Oil. Uh, I, um, I just got back from driving six hours straight from Dallas after watching my Cowboys lose to the New England Cheatriots 48 to 24. It's not the uh, the loss that bothers me so much. It's how we lost fourth down, fourth down and go at the five yard line. Ten minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Wade Phillips kicks a field goal down by 14 to cut the Patriots lead to 11. You still need two scores. What could have been done? Well, I think, not only do I think, I believe, and so do most of the people that were at that game. They believe that Wade Phillips should have gone for it. Fourth and goal on their five, down by 14, you go for it. What's the worst that could happen? Hmm? You get back to the line of scrimmage. The, the uh, Cheatriots set up shop at their own five. So, with ten minutes to go at that point, you know, hypothetically, because this didn't get to happen, uh, then Tom Brady and the Cheatriot offense would have to drive 60 yards to get into field goal range to make it a three-score uh, three, uh, game. I think our defense could have stopped them. If Dallas failed that fourth and goal attempt, which they never attempted. There were also costly penalties in that game. Fourth and one at the 50-yard uh, line, I believe. Marion Barber, handoff. He, uh, he makes it. He gains five yards, although he fumbled. But, I mean, he gains five yards. Called back. By a holding penalty on Flozell Adams. Let's be down this week. But the season's not over. Well, what, what are you telling me? What are you telling me, huh? That uh, we should just go ahead and throw away the season because we lost to the New England Cheatriots? Huh? No, I don't think we're going to throw away the season. I, I, you know, I, I'm still standing by my prediction that the Cowboys go 12-4 and four. En route to a Super Bowl victory. Why do I say 12-4, and four, you ask? Well, I believe that the Cowboys will get screwed in some games. And this might have been one of them. Uh, the Buffalo game almost was one where, you know, it's the, the ball sure does bounce funny. But the main goal is that the, the, the main point is that the Cowboys win the Super Bowl. That's something I'm not going to falter on. So what about whether, you know, the battle of the undefeateds and the Cowboys uh, got defeated and New England gets to continue that streak. I don't care because you know, there's only one thing that matters. That's holding up the Lombardi Trophy in Glendale, Arizona in February of 08. That's all that matters still today. Today was... Disheartening. Now, BSPN and every one of the mediates are going to talk about how Dallas sucks and oh, they can't compare to the AFC. Although Wade Phillips says that you can't make excuses with regards to injuries. I believe that once we get Terry Glenn back, once we get Anth uh, Anthony Henry back, once we have 
Hank Johnson. Once we have those three with us in week 10, week 11, the Cowboys will be one of the Peasant Avante 90 calibers in the NFL. And we're going to take everybody down. I believe that. There was, uh, there's, there's something that does take away the sting of this loss. That was being with my, my blog brethren. I finally got to meet everybody. And I, I, I gotta tell you, I didn't know everybody thought so highly of me. I, you know, I, I figured that, uh, Oki and, uh, Six Rings and C Notes and Starbuck, I figured they, you know, they would like me and that sort of thing, but I had no idea that, uh, that Sue thought very highly of me. And, and, uh, I, and the, the whole, uh, group, the whole bloggers, they thought so much of me that, uh, here, here's this, this wonderful book, uh, Landry's Boys, uh, by Peter Golenbach. Uh, the, the bloggers, they bought this for me, and then, and then they signed, they, they signed it, uh, and they all said some funny stuff, and they also got Jason Witten to sign it, uh, uh, Matt, Matt, I'm, it's two in the morning here. Matt McBriar to sign it, uh, and Nick Folk. So they, they did, they did me a, a great service here. And also Everson Walls, oh, Mel Renfro! Mel Renfro signed it, and Everson Walls, uh, he signed it and with his, uh, total interceptions in a career. Yeah, I'm glad they did this for me. I really am, because I was starting to, I was starting to not think so highly of people in general. I've had some stuff happen to me, big stuff. That's happened to me in the last uh, over a year. And it, it kind of shattered my faith in people, but uh, seeing that, that Six Rings and Ween and Sooth, Tex Girl, she, she signed it, um, Michelle, C Notes, to see everybody that signed this thinks so much of me, kind of restores my faith. Uh, my faith in people. And it gives me a little confidence, too. Because, I mean, it, l l listen to this. Matt McBriar, he wrote, or, uh, Nick Folk wrote this. Put this on YouTube. He put that right above his autograph. They thought so much of me, the bloggers, my brethren, the clique. They thought so much of me that they had five cowboys, three present, two past, sign this edition of Landry's boys. Although today was a loss. Although today is a game that we don't want to remember as far as football goes. Today was a day that we will remember as far as our fellowship on the blogs goes. Because now we have faces to put with the names instead of silly av avatars like me being Michael Corleone, uh, um, Starbuck being the, the uh, guy from A Clockwork Orange. Now we have faces to put with the, uh, with the names. Hopefully we'll have something like this next year. And I, and I think C-Note suggested this. It's a good idea. We should do it. Cowboys and Indians, Texas Stadium, 2008. One last time. I think that'd be the great, uh, the greatest blogger get together. Drop me a line, consciousaffection at yahoo.com, and I'll blog with you guys later. It was nice to meet all of you. Take care.